Oh, crackies, crackies, uh, Curly Joe. It's time for Nurse Show. It's, uh, you know, Farfinger Gaming. Uh, I, I, I got a new project to tell you about. Uh, I got, uh, they took the, 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 the chip out of my brain. It feels really good. <laughs> uh, this chip really, really was kind of bad. Oh, I got a soccer and soccer tash last uh, week. Uh, you had a... Uh, uh, a brain chip from Trader Joe. That, that's probably a horrible idea. I realize it was cheap as chips, but uh, uh, no, I, I would never do that. Where you got it going this week? <sighs> uh, I, uh, I got it. I'm making my own subway system. Oh, crackers, crackers, crackers. That's a terrible idea. Have you ever done that before? I, 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 I uh, no. Uh, uh, how do you do it? Uh oh, crackers, crackers, <laughs> boom! Oh, that was a lot of crashing outside, Curly Joe. I, uh, oh, look out! <laughs> Oh no! It just the subway the subway just train just smashed into the wall we just patched up from your tractor. I I don't think this was a good idea. <laughs> uh, well, it wasn't a good idea, Curly Joe. You you're doing a lot of things just firsthand without even researching it or even consulting actual experts or getting any planned permission. <laughs> you're just making like you're just making things like out of blue. <laughs> no, you don't know. You don't try. You don't know until you don't try. That's <laughs> that's a that's a lesson to life right there. Uh, we call Mr. Pennypacker. Uh, Why did you up so? <laughs> that Curly Joe has brought some content to the show. I mean, Billy was boring. He just said his name, and then he became smart. It's, it is some good stuff. He's, he's doing it without any kind of safety regards. That's content. That's a... That's the way the old sitcoms were. Like, what? What is this guy going to do this week? And it, that's, that's, uh, that's what we like here. Okay, so you guys are going to get. I uh, you just go play the game. You know, we don't want to talk too long. Well, Joe, we are watching, uh, um, Paul Jones versus Jim, uh, uh, the Boogie Woogie Man. Let's see, or we'll get this thing started here, and yeah, there we go. What is the electric police in the match? Well, there's a stupid feature where they show all the titantrons of all the current roster in matches that have nothing to do with uh, what, what, what you're playing. It's really stupid. I, I It just... It's kind of, you know what, I'll be honest, I, I we, we enjoy here at Saturn Grod simulating these matches, but, man, I'm going to tell you, you know, there's a lot of stupid stuff in this, and now we are live from the Omni in Atlanta, Georgia, even though it said it's somewhere else. Don't, just ignore that, <laughs> or else we have to go and tick off every box to every country in every state, every city in the world until we get to the one place that 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 we want to say this show is from. Now Paul Jones is a villain. He's he's the he, he leader of the Paul Jones army and I uh, I like the fact we now have the Omni. We uh we can have a, you can have a house shows there. We can have a, anything, even pay per views, and and uh, we do have Greensboro Coliseum too. Uh, even though it's got some Starcade uh, um, stuff in, in the opening area, but it's uh, you know uh, you know it allows you to do the NWA matches, you know, and you got the McDonald's signs above you, you know, you can get McDonald's and get fat. 
Oh, yeah, you can really be in good shape like me. You can be in good shape like Curly Joe. And uh, here we go. The lights are out. The boogie woogie man, Jimmy Valiant, is coming to the ring. And, and Valiant is pumped. He's excited. And, uh, you know, this is an old school arena. It's very dark. <laughs> It's the way it used to be, because, you know, they, they, they cut down on lighting. And uh, you, you, the spotlight is on the, the Boogie Woogie Man. He's coming to the ring, and this, is, this arena serves a lot of purposes. You can have pretty much any kind of main event you want, from WCW to NWA. You just need to ignore the NWA symbol, and pretty much you can have anything you want. You know, Bill Watts used to have st uh, book stuff here, and Georgia Championship Wrestling, and Jones. Oh, he Jones is getting right to work on the Boogie Woogie Man. He's now. I'll let you know there is what I like to call NWE rules, and what that is 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 with NWE rules that means that there is a count now, a ten count, standing count. You got to get in the ring, but there. But the referee will pretty much allow anything else. You know, there's still rope break and stuff like that. But you you can have, you, you know, if you want weapons, it's okay. You can have weapons. So it is very ECW-like with the exception of the, the 10 count. Because we got to at least have to make at least seem a little bit. I, I try to make the NWA a little more hard, just a little more hardcore, because it, because I still have the argument that the NWA was, you know, I've watched a lot of uh, Crockett, and and generally outside the ring, out anything goes. I mean, chairs, the referee wouldn't wouldn't uh, disqualify anybody if they used a chair outside the ring or a table or anything. It's just. The only problem is you can't tell the computer, oh, you can't bring the weapon in the ring. You know, and that's that's a problem. And I know you could say then, well, well then why you do the WWF stuff? Why is it stricter? It's because that's the way it was. It was just, well, of course, you know, it's, you know, they, they want to make it more family friendly too. So I don't, I'm just trying to be a little more, historically correct on that one and you know you know they yeah they still use chairs but they ow my hand ow my hand <laughs> counting that three on that that table and he's got a lockout lockdown and he's a uh, oh backdrop on paul jones and i don't know how this is syncing up right now so i'm trying to do my best here Sometimes the audio doesn't sync up, and it sounds weird. He's got the chicken wing on. Yeah, it's good. He's got the chicken wing on, and uh, Paul Jones is now locked up. He's, you know, and then, let's see. Okay, Russian knee to the, to the stomach there. Jimmy Valiant's got him up, uh, up on his shoulders here, and oh, he snake eyes. That was actually, I think, uh, Vinny Vegas' finishing move, which is Ken, Kevin Nash, back when he was in WCW. That wasn't a bad gimmick, the Vinny Vegas. Oh, the backdrop right on the table. That, that That's painful. Kind of my biggest complaint about the computer in this game is that it's still not very sharp when it comes to certain weapons, like... Uh, like you would think with the tables, all he sets up the table and it's no, 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 he don't touch the table practically. Well, you would be like, why? And it's it's just the AI does not know how to freaking do that. Of course, you would say, well, okay, well, well, about table match, well, that they seem to know how to do. They, what I've noticed is what simulating these matches is the. The computer needs an end game behind everything. So, if there is an end game, the computer barely touches something because it, unless there's a point to it. So you would say right now he's got the shovel and oh he's just whacking him with that shovel. That's horrible. But that's the end game. Is like he's he's he, that's the strongest method of damage right there, as opposed to say a normal move. 
so he's going for the weapon. And he's a heel. So that, that's the incentive. But see, the table to set up, to go to the heel, they'll, they'll pick up the table and use it as a weapon. That's no problem. But the problem is they they won't set the table up against the, 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 the apron. They won't set the table up so they could put them on the table and do a move like Sabu or something, or RVD. They, they, won't, they won't slam them for the table. They won't light it on fire. Apparently in these games you can't actually do that, which is crazy. Do they allow that? He just got that chair right in his face. Oh, my goodness. But, so, so, then you would think, well, well, then what, what, what do you, well, it's just the, the end game. The end game is, if it doesn't involve ending the match, they don't care. They literally will barely touch anything, which is bad, bad form, not good for the show. You know, so like if you have them in a steel cage and you tell them to climb out of the cage, they'll fight over the cage, which makes it into a real cage match, which makes it really entertaining and good to stream. But I warn you, they won't they won't do anything with the cage. If you tell them instead, oh, the, the, the condition is pin and submission, th th then their their condition to believe that this is just a normal match, it's just a lumberjack match now, meaning they just can't go outside the ring. They can't climb, they're not gonna climb the cage because there isn't a point to climb the cage. See, they're not in entertainment mode here, people. They're in the mode of winning. This match is very entertaining though, so. The computer gets that They'll get, well, of course, that, that's going to cause the most damage. So they do it. And it's good good form and good entertainment. But just understand, the computer isn't going. I'm going to get climb the top of the cage and splash off of it. Although I've seen in war games, I know people are probably going, you've got 23 and you've never done uh, war games, the war games match. and Did it once just to test it, you know. But, uh, uh plan to do it but we're doing a lot of other matches too we, we, think, we didn't really quite plan to get 23 and then we just kind of did it you know and it was actually on sale too so we got that then uh yeah so again you know so a tables match would be different because the computer's end game is i can't end this match until i put set up the table and throw them through it okay so there's this incentive to to do that. As long as there's an incentive, they'll do it. But if, th like in this match, you would say, well, why not set up the table? Because they're literally, their AI is going, no, the point is pin and submission. And also to do maximum damage. And it's really the fault of the people who made the game because they didn't go to that level as far as the AI to be like, well, wouldn't it be cool this, this match doesn't have dq well why wouldn't he set up the table to smash him through it because it would cause the most damage it's very possible maybe it doesn't cause the most damage and that's why they don't do it it's just kind of a waste of time and they don't do it it's a shame it's a waste because if there's a table in a lot of ways you know it's sad because you know back in the day throwing people through tables was very entertaining it was part of wrestling. It was, you know, like the table. The table was everything. You know, I remember ECW, and I was like, you couldn't. They they did it all the time, which kind of, of course, dumbed down that idea. But so these two are really brawling, and they're really, you know. Actually, I uh, see. I'm sorry. I actually said there was a ten count, and there isn't. I must have decided that this was going to be an extreme rules type match or something with the idea that you know the or uh, no i think it was no holds barred i know you're going to go what <laughs> there's a no holds barred match <laughs> like there's a no holds barred match and there's an extreme rules match isn't that the same thing 
And I know what you're saying. I don't know. I don't know if there's a difference. Uh, I'm not sure. It's just you, you, you do whatever you want kind of thing. And now Boogie Woogie Man's got the sleeper hold. This is going to be the end of the match. The end of Paul Jones, you know. You know got that knee right on that table. Because that wouldn't make sense why the referee would say, okay, okay, break the hold. Well, he didn't grab the ropes. He could have grabbed the ropes. I mean, look, the ropes were right there, you know. Sometimes they, the, the computer will actually grab the ropes. And then, oh. That would hurt actually falling right on that table like that. And again, they don't touch the table, which is really bad form. And one, two, nope, nope. They don't really grab the table. That's just the way they are. And uh, let's see. One, two, no, no, no. And a short clothesline there. And uh, Boogie Woogie Man's confused. He's like, there's so much, I'm going to grab the shovel. Nope, nope, he missed. Paul Jones stopped that. Oh, yeah. Suplex, stamp, suplex. Stomp, stomp, stomp. And then dragon suplex. I don't think any of those people have ever done the dead move in their life. Uh, that's more so a move you see Tatsumi Fujinami do. He was renowned for that move. And uh, let's see, atomic drop. Don't know if atomic drop would even hurt, you know. But you know he's got that shovel, and I, I, I pick the shovel usually sometimes as a weapon as opposed to a kendo stick, because a kendo stick wasn't even used back in the the in the golden age of wrestling. It was used more with ECW and stuff, and you know. So I don't like to try to. I try to incorporate moves I feel that would be more old school, like a shovel or. Yeah. And he's got that. Yeah, he's. Okay, that's, uh, that should be rope break. And that wasn't a rope break. He just sort of broke that move. But that should have been rope break. His foot was that. It, he was right on the rope. And I've noticed that with these games, I'm going to say it. They suck when it comes to certain things. They're not. When it comes to the rules, the game is very selective. They sometimes it just doesn't. Three and Boogie Woogie Man wins, and that's it, folks. And that's that's the end of uh, the show this week. And who knows what kind of wrestling we'll show next week? And uh, well, see you then, guys.